Here you can see my uh, electron is work focus focus. Here we go. Is on my. Uh, oh, it's not very good focus, unfortunately. On my Lekadetev, my LCD TV. So that's my electrons working okay on it. Right. Forgive the colour of my uh, CD player. It's the miss. It belongs to the missus. Honestly, it's not mine. It's a lovely uh, sort of pinky purpley colour, here, isn't it? So that's the CD player we'll be using. And um, so basically, what we do now, we take this cassette tape here, and put that. Take the cassette tape here, and we put that in the cassette player. Now so, right then we put that into the CD player, like so. And what I did with the volume here, I just went one. So I've done it again. One, two. A bit difficult when you're not looking at it for you're looking at it through the uh, screen of a camcorder. Right, and that was enough. It'll probably make me look a liar now, but um, so anyway, that's we're ready to go with the first method. So I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod and then attempt to load it. Sorry, YouTube, so I had to switch to my son's uh, C player last minute because for some reason my wife's one was uh, playing silly buggers and wouldn't read the disc. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this will work. So, back to the electron, there we go, and we press, actually, let's go down and show you what the actual key movements, so you hold down the caps lock function key, K, and that brings up the command chain, which is a load command for the electron. And then shift to number two, which has got the speech marks on it, and then we hit the return key. And we look back at the electron now. The electron is searching for a disco. We'll press right. Don't know if you can hear that, but the cassette recorder is turning. So now I'll press play on the CD player and hopefully fingers crossed it will load oh so far so good this is boxer one thing you must be careful of some games ask you to stop the tape so you need to keep an eye on it if that's the case you need to pause the CD here we go, so so far so good. The boxer uh, loader screen has uh, kicked in. Um, I don't know how long this will take. Hopefully it won't be too long. Um, I'll fast forward it into the end bit. And there we have it. It's loaded. Right, so let me have a quick burst on this. ZX is left, right, get up, and then colon and slash is up and down. Shift is jump, return is punch. Oh, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Oh, let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that works. Oh, I just killed him. He's dead. Oh, so much for punching him. Alright, so as you can see, that works. I'm going to try and equip that. 
Let's try another game now. Let's try a. Uh, let's try Chucky Egg. Right, this time we can dispense with the services of the cassette and we're going to use these leads. So basically, we get the ear socket and I like to plug it into the white one. It probably makes no odds whatsoever, but hey, that's just me. So you press it until it clicks. It's quite stubborn. As you see, it's clicked in nice. And now we put this 3.5mm jack into the back of the CD player. Right, as you can see, here's a cassette lead coming out of the electron, and that should go. Here we go, right, connecting to that connector, which then in turn is connected to the back of the headphone socket on the stereo. So, again, we do the function key K for chain, hold down the shift, press number two twice, and return searching for a game. So now I need to forward it to track 2, hit play there we go, so far so good I think there's about 5 blocks on this initial loader yep, that was right right, now this is the main program itself loading and uh, this is going to take some time so uh, please be, I'm going, to, I'm going to fast forward this part now till near the, till near the end and then uh, we can see the game in action Right, now we're near the end now, and it's about to load. There we go. Right then. And uh, prove this works, I'll press S, and uh, 1. And voila. One working chucky egg. Right, anyway, it's very hard to play from around corner. But um, there you go, Chucky Egg, loaded from a CD. And if you've set the volume correctly, it will load first time every time. You'll never need to set the volume again. Um, bear with me a moment while I'll show you the volume setting I've got it on. Oh, that's Chucky Egg again. So basically, there's the volume control. That's the mi minimum. That's the maximum, so you don't want it there, you just want it round about there. Really, so it's not even like, it's about a quarter of the way around. And that's enough. Okay. Um, and that's how you load games from your CD onto your Acorn Electron. Uh, please um, stay tuned for my next video and I'll be showing you how to do it in the ZX Spectrum. Thanks for watching.